The Stromboli and Etna volcanoes can erupt more powerfully and terrifyingly due to slight variations in the chemical composition of their magma. This research revealed that the titanium and iron content in magma determines the crystallization time scale and rheological behavior in basaltic volcanic systems, published in the journal Nature Communications Earth and Environment and carried out by a multidisciplinary research team from the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV. The concentration of chemical elements such as titanium and iron influences the behavior of volcanoes, explains Fabrizio Di Fiori, INGV researcher and first author of the study. These chemical variations determine the formation of crystals in magma that increase its viscosity and ability to trap gas bubbles. If the bubbles cannot escape, they will gather in the volcano, increasing the pressure and triggering an explosive eruption. Our study is a step forward in understanding magma transport, which determines eruption styles," added Alessandro Vona, a volcanologist at Roma Tre University. Basaltic magmas, such as Etna and Stromboli magmas, tend to produce effusive eruptions, but our research explains why explosive events occur. This is because some magmas are able to dissolve these two elements very effectively, while other magmas tend to release them quickly in crystal form. The results of this research show the importance of experimental studies in the fields of volcanology and petrology to improve the quality of the Earth. Understanding of Volcanoes, concluded Pier Giorgio Scarlato, INGV researcher and coordinator of the INGV UNO project on Stromboli explosive volcanism, where the research was carried out. This highest alert status has had a significant impact on the island's tourism, with many cancellations during the peak season. Despite the disruption, some tourists remain interested in the volcanic activity, although many feel anxious. This time the volcano did everything in two or three days. This means Stromboli is no longer a predictable volcano. That has changed quite a bit, Canavo said. Danilo Di Genova Researcher at the Institute of Science, Technology and Sustainability for the Development of Ceramic Materials of the National Research Council CNR -IZMC, points out, the interaction between volcanology and materials science has made it possible to highlight that even small variations in the concentration of iron and titanium in magma can influence volcanic behavior. The collaboration between INGV, Roma Tre University and CNR is essential for this scientific progress. The next phase of research plans to study experimental observations with natural processes, with the aim of developing probabilistic predictive models of volcanic eruptions. Dot. Stromboli has been erupting almost continuously since 1932. Its near-constant eruptions are located off the coast of southern Italy, and are bright and can be seen from long distances at night, hence its nickname. The eruption is so distinctive that geologists use the term Strombolian to describe similar eruptive activity at other volcanoes. Stromboli begins its base more than 1,000 meters below the Tyrrhenian Sea, rising to a height of 924 meters above sea level. Strombolian-style volcanic eruptions involve mild explosive events in which a slug of gas rises through a magma-filled volcanic conduit, explodes at the surface, and throws chunks of lava into the air. So basically what we're dealing with here is a lava bomb. 